Longtime DEC Commissioner Basil Sagos is stepping down after nearly a decade heading up that agency. Amazing. It makes him the longest serving commissioner in DEC history. And the commissioner joins us now. Good to see you again. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jeff. Um, so first off, everybody's asking, your call to step down? Why are you leaving now? Yeah, my call. I mean, look, uh, eight and a half years, more than 10 years in state government total. Uh, you know, I, I, I need a new challenge. Um, and the agency needs new blood. That's always the case, right? Any institution that has a leader, um, every so often it benefits from change, new energy, new ideas. And, you know, this is a personal decision for me and my family, uh, but I think one ultimately that uh, I feel good about and that the agency will be benefiting from in the long run. Big state, long hours, certainly understand it. Um, you have led New York through the first steps in New York's climate plan, which is really like no other in the nation and, and probably very much needed now. What would you say are you're most proud of in your career? Yeah, I think, listen, pu putting together the, the, the climate plan, helping to pass the state's uh, nation leading climate law, uh, those are certainly some big standout moments, of course, bringing the Bond Act together, the $4.2 billion Bond Act on precedent resources for water, $5.5 billion for water infrastructure. I mean, those are the really big ticket items. But, you know, some of the things I'm, I'm honestly most proud of uh, are really inward facing, the least the sort of less sexy things like rebuilding the agency and bringing staffing numbers up, uh, really cr creating some some strength in this institution which I think ultimately is the, is the kind of work that's vital, that's uh, often less covered, but it's vital uh, for the protection of the state for the long run. Leaving it in good shape for your successor. What would you like to see this person do and, and carry on in the, in the short term? Listen, carry out our good work. I mean, we have a terrific team. We are on a great trajectory. The governor's given us unprecedented resources. So certainly carrying on the work of the last decade, uh, keeping it going. Uh, and also uh, paying attention to, to some of the new stuff that we've really, really put our hands around, like uh, our relationship with the, uh, the indigenous nations in New York State, even just locally uh, to, to where you are. Um, you know, we have a really exciting land transfer underway, the Tully property with the Onondaga Nation. It's that sort of creative thinking, I think, that really has been a hallmark of the last four or five years of this agency. I, I want to see that continue, mm -hmm. constantly challenge ourselves to do new and bigger and better things. I know we've got the energy to do that, the interest in doing that in this agency, uh, and the governor's uh, directive to us to, to be creative. Um, so that's what that's really what I hope the next the next commissioner will, will do. Um, plan seems like obviously funding with the Bond Act um, goals. How how does the state keep this going? Because obviously this is ever evolving, uh, like you just described. Mm. Yeah. Well, listen, I think New Yorkers have long understood the importance of a clean environment. I mean, that's really where it starts, right? Do we have the backing of the people of this state to make the investments in our environment? And I think the answer is resoundingly yes. You know, when you have 70% of New Yorkers say yes to the Bond Act uh, at the ballot, that's a bit of a referendum on the trajectory that we're on as a state. And that gives us some, uh, some energy to go and pursue uh, bigger and better things statewide. So I think that's really where it starts and we've got a very strong legislature as well they've been terrific supporters of this agency that will not change mm -hmm. and again a big uh an important uh supporter in, in our governor uh to to keep things going here so uh, i'm optimistic that this is going to be a really exciting few years ahead um one more question before i let you go here um those are the the big ticket items the things that you can do on a state level name me one or two things you would say to somebody right now that you say you can help too by doing this very simple thing to help our climate and our environment listen so many things that individuals can do to be uh protectors of the environment it all starts locally right i mean that, that old expression uh, act locally locally think globally um it really is true i mean it's obviously recycling it's thinking about your carbon footprint in your house insulating your house a bit better i mean that's one of the most uh, uh, attractive uh, investments to reduce your carbon footprint is just doing uh, doing insulation work uh, but then there's joining um you know joining organizations uh you know being an active participant in the democratic uh, process that we have at hand right now uh here in new york and and weighing in come uh come pump, come budget cycle you know get involved and push for certain initiatives that the state is advancing or that maybe the legislators are advancing. And I think that's, that's certainly uh, engagement is, is always one of the most important things. But I will tell you, get outside. Um, I, I think every time I talk to you, Jeff, I'm always trying to push people outside to, to go enjoy the outdoors. Really important to do that because I think ultimately 
you get kids outdoors, you make them long-term stewards of the environment, and ultimately our state benefits from that. True appreciation. Um, Commissioner Segos, um, I know you're not done until the budget's done, so maybe we'll catch up one more time before you go. Deal? Yeah, that'd be great, Jeff. Okay. Love to. Thanks for your time. All right, thanks a lot.